Two officers who got into a shootout with a man at Walnut Hills last week are cleared of any charges. Cincinnati police and the Hamilton County prosecutor released body cam video from the incident today. We want to warn you, this video is very graphic, but we're sharing it with you because it shows the dangers police face every single day. Dozens of rounds were fired in the exchange between the officers and the suspect. A police say the suspect Damian McCray opened fire on officer Kenneth Grubbs and his partner, officer William Kuyper. Grubbs was hit in the lower abdomen. The officers found Grubbs while checking on a report about domestic violence. McCray's gun jammed after the first shot. McCray was wounded multiple times. He's now in jail and faces attempted murder and other charges. Officer Grubbs is still recovering from his injuries. I'm joined now by not on your side. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham. Craig, you were in the news conference today. What stands out to you the most? Well, I think the thing that stands out the most to a lot of the people who watch the body cam video is the, the danger, the unknown danger facing those officers when they walked into the grounds of the apartment complex. They did not know that uh, the suspect allegedly had uh, two loaded guns. Uh, he had a nine millimeter rifle with 10 rounds and he had, uh, according to police, uh, 22 caliber with an additional six rounds. Um, it appears he was willing to use those uh, rounds. Uh, and then, of course, after the first shot was fired, um, his gun jammed. But the officers didn't know that's what they were responding to. They thought they were just going in for a domestic violence call. What a lot of people like us who are not in law enforcement don't realize is that domestic violence calls, according to the police, are often their most dangerous responses. Wow. Because emotions are really worked up. Uh, there's often violence involved already. And this is what the police are stepping into. And so um, I'm guessing that they knew that they were getting into something that could be very dangerous. Uh, clearly, they didn't know that they were getting into something like this. And just watching the video, Craig, we know that in most times, those cases, somebody dies. But that was not the case here. Well, this is remarkable, not only because the gun jammed after the first shot, mm -hmm. but because the officer was about five feet away. That's the equivalent of two steps. Wow. Two steps from a man who fires a shot into your lower abdomen. He's very, very fortunate to have survived this shooting. Uh, the prosecutor mentioned that the suspect has a, a list of uh, charges against him and has a long history of just being in and out of jail. People want to know why was this guy on the street anyway? Well, he was recently sentenced for his sixth, seventh and eighth felony conviction. Those were three counts for uh, drug trafficking. Under state law, the judge did have the option of sending him to prison, mm. but there has been a push, a very strong push to keep nonviolent, lower level offenders back in the community and on probation as opposed to sentencing them to prison. Craig, thank you so much for that. You're for welcome. more on Craig's report and the body camera video released today, head over to WCPL.com.